Hello friends, I'm Sensor Khajar and today I'm going to show you how to do alignment and I'm going to also show you about tags in HTML. So you can see this heading I've typed above is left aligned because it is by default left aligned. <laughs> and you can see here alignment in HTML heading which is in the center. I have aligned it to the center and the line below it is also aligned in the center. So what do you think how it did this? I did this with an, with an tab called center and uh, you can see the two spaces between these two line headings if this is done with br tag which is also known as break tag let me show you the code and just a minute yeah you can see here heading then you can see there heading and I'm going to use the break tag which is br so it breaks the line suppose I delete one of them uh, just a minute, I would, yeah, delete one of them, I'm going to save it, and just, you can see the heading moved upwards, because I deleted in break tag, and I've put two or three break tags more, save it, you can see that it has gone down uh, three times, so, this is the use of break tag, you learn now, now you can see the how to align it in center. It is done with center tag, or you can also use the h1 align is equal to center, so that it is embedded in. So it is also a container element. You can see it is closed also. And I have uh, aligned the paragraph with align is equal to center tag. Um, you can embed it, and uh, I didn't need to close the center tag because I uh, have used here the paragraph I've closed the paragraph tag here uh, just a minute yeah here the paragraph tag is closed and uh, so the center align is also closed because align is equal to center is embedded into the paragraph tag only so you don't need to close a uh, center you just need to close paragraph now I've given two more break tags yeah, now here's a big tag I'll talk about. I have not written Sanskar. My name is Sanskar and Sanskar is appearing big because I have used a big tag here. You can see the code. Big. Yep. I used the big. Uh, and between the big tags there is my name. Yep. And this small tag, this makes the text small in format. And uh, code of this is small and small close now we do use break tags and I've got an address tag which uh, just is used to represent addresses um, suppose India I've used India address uh, to visit rich heritage of India I haven't used anything else address tag still it is appearing nice now we use pre tag S through this tag you can just whatever you type on notepad appears on the web page automatically without any code and you can see I've used pre tag just a minute I'll show you I've used a pre tag here and I'll close the pre tag also you can see whatever type on notepad is appearing nicely on the web page without any code else than pre you may not get the uh, uh, HTML code because uh, uh, let's try whether we can get it or not for this tutorial I'm trying it uh, you cannot get an HTML tag or any HTML working tag because uh, it doesn't accept it but still if you don't use any paragraph tag and use pre tag you can print whatever you want on the web page let's move further and we'll be talking about the horizontal line uh, yeah here's a horizontal line you can see uh, which I have made through the HR tag uh, you can just go to the notepad and go to type HR to create a horizontal line how to add one more horizontal line
Okay, yeah, yeah, just a minute. Yeah, that's right. I want to save it. Yeah, yeah. There's one more horizontal line you can see there. And I'll be telling you about one more tag, which is the space tag, or you can say the and person NVSP semicolon tag and in this you have if you suppose I type the following thing in and I give some spaces in between this sentence you might not see uh, yep now it gives spaces and uh, you might not see this in the HTML page let me give more spaces you might not see these spaces in the HTML because uh, it doesn't accept it so you can see the sentence is fully intact without any more spaces which we gave but to give more spaces we'll be using a tag called and person nbsp semicolon we also type and person nbsp semicolon and save it now you can see there is a space there yeah now if you use this more you have four spaces now there have to be four spaces yeah there are four spaces now so you can see this compu completes this tutorial and um, thanks for watching this tutorial see you at the next lesson Thanks for watching.